uh, electrical component. Uh, once again, not, not anything new. Um, you know, I'm just going to kind of do these things, uh, you know, uh, together uh, just for time's sake. And, and I'll zoom in in just one second. But, uh, you know, keeping in mind that in our uh, PVC caps, uh, you know, what we want to do is just when we drill our hole, make sure it's offset to one side, um, you know, to account for our stove bolt assembly. Um, but you'll kind of, if you got a quick eye, you'll see that I'll bend it out as we go through it. So, all right, here we go. Next, next part for us uh, is to get the uh, uh, figure of eight uh, ring on uh, and our um, spring here. And uh, lately what I've been starting to do uh, is just getting uh, at least the uh, nichrome wire uh, fed onto the spring. You just already pre-wind it up and then attach it onto uh, one of your terminals here. Uh, and then go ahead and uh, attach your nichrome wire to the figure of eight and then just stretch out that, that, sc that spring and uh, attach it to the other terminal. So, you know, as that wire heats up, it'll kind of expand a little bit, but you should still have pretty good tension. So, um, you know, once again, I'll zoom in. I won't make it so tight this time, but uh, it'll go pretty quick either way. <laughs> trying to come through and you know just kind of hand you know cut a couple of pieces um, but even then you know knocking this down kind of bringing it in you know a little bit so it's a bit more manageable but this is a nice hybrid I think for uh, for most people but uh, you know the other thing the other thing is that um, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to put these uh, two snap connectors on, uh, the, the bullet crimp on snap connectors, uh, just on the end down here. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test the whole resistance of this whole thing because um, I bet you there's not going to be enough resistance um, for the power supply. Um, if you go to the troubleshooting section, you'll see um, where sometimes these power supplies will clip out. Um, and it's usually because there's not enough resistance coming back. Uh, but I'm going to test this guy real quick and we'll find out. Um, so this guy pretty much uh, tested out to be almost um, two and a half ohms, almost on the nose. Um, at uh, two amps, that usually pushes us through at uh, five volts if uh, you, know, you look at uh, Ohm's law. So you know, looking at that, you need about 10 watts to power this thing. Um, you know, so you can, if you have a 10 volt, one amp, you know, phone charger or a battery charger or something like that, that might be enough. Um, you know, otherwise I've told you guys plenty of times I'm partial to these, uh, uh, tattoo power supplies. Uh, but I can almost guarantee, uh, you'll have to put one of the inline resistors in with these, um, with this guy. Um, but go ahead, go to the troubleshooting section, 
Uh, I talk a little bit more about that there. Uh, and actually, I use uh, you know this guy, um, you know one of these smaller units just to kind of exemplify it. So uh, other than that, uh, that's it as far as uh, the mini hand cutter goes.